Why are you trying to fight Mike Tyson when Mike Tyson is almost 60 years old? So it was just announced that Jake Paul will be fighting Iron Mike Tyson in July on Netflix. Now, a lot of people, especially in the boxing and MMA world, they shitting on Jake Paul. They think like this is the biggest dick move in the history of sports. A lot of people are like Jake Paul. Why are you trying to fight Mike Tyson when Mike Tyson is almost 60 years old? Now, with that being said, like this is going to be a huge fight from a financial standpoint. All right. I mean, it's Netflix's first live stream uh, boxing event, uh, you know, a lot of people are going to be tuning in to watch this, especially because it's going to be on Netflix. So all the people that got Netflix subscriptions are going to be able to watch this fight. And a lot of people who don't necessarily have Netflix right now, they're probably going to get Netflix just to watch this fight. So the question is, is Jake Paul an asshole or is he a marketing genius? And honestly, I think Jake Paul is a marketing genius because a lot of people are, like I said, a lot of people dogging Jake Paul. A lot of people are like, man, I thought you wanted to be taken serious as a boxer. Why the hell are you going back to fighting celebrities or, you know, washed up athletes? And I'm sure Jake Paul is fully aware of all the hate that he's getting. But people got to remember uh, for years, Jake Paul has been hated. And a lot of people still don't like Jake Paul to this day, but I mean, like five, six years ago, a lot of people did not like Jake Paul. So he's actually used to the hate. And I think he's in a position right now to be like, yo, any attention is good attention. He's on his, his business game. He's really working his entrepreneurial spirit. I mean, he's really working his entrepreneur game because no matter what people say, people that, that hate him, people that love him, from a financial standpoint, man, he's going to make a shit ton of money. I would not be surprised if Jake Paul make anywhere from 50 to $100 million off of this fight. So it makes you think, if you Jake Paul and you could make this amount of money, you know what I mean? Like, why wouldn't you do it? Especially... I'm sure Jake Paul probably feels like he can beat Mike Tyson. Despite what people think, Jake Paul like, look, I've been in the ring with, with, with big stars before. I've been in the ring with boxers before. I've been in the ring with MMA people that's younger than Mike Tyson. So he's probably thinking like, dude, you know, I'm not going to lose this shit. But then you got other people who's like, yeah, but what if Mike Tyson knocks out Jake Paul? Like how stupid would Jake Paul look for calling out, you know, a 58 year old dude at the time? Like how stupid would he look to call him out and then get beat? Right. Two things. First of all, I think Jake Paul really, really don't care. Second of all, Jake Paul is going to be like, uh, I mean, it is Mike Tyson, regardless how old he is. Dude, that was Mike Tyson that knocked me out. Right. And then thirdly, like he's going to be laughing all the way to the bank. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be laughing all the way to the bank. And then you got other people who's like, uh, well, he already got enough money. So it can't be for the money. You know what I'm saying? He already a multi-millionaire. It can't be about the money. Well, I feel like it to a degree it is. Because look at all these successful people, you know, billionaires, multi-millionaires, whatever. They always making moves. Right. They always seemingly trying to get more and more money. And I think that's what Jake Paul at. He's probably in a position to be like, I mean, the more money, the better. Look at Logan Paul. Now, Logan Paul making a shit ton of money off his prime energy drink. But yeah, he's still in the WWE. And I'm sure he don't make as much money in WWE as he does off his prime energy drink. So when it comes to Jake Paul, I do think he genuinely wants to fight Mike Tyson. He probably feels like it's some sort of a challenge. But of course, of course, it's about the money. So I got a couple quick questions. All right. The first one is, are you going to watch Tyson versus Jake Paul? And the second question is, who you think going to win?